Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Some time since we haven't talked about war games, uh, therefore this time let's uh, take a look at the best uh, board games about uh, submarine warfare. So let's dive in. They come unseen. It is a tense and strategic game for two to five players, uh, published by Osprey Games in 2015. Game is set during Cold War, where one player takes uh, on the role of uh, NATO submarine commander and uh, another player takes on the role of uh, Soviet commander. The game is played on the board representing the North Atlantic, uh, with the main objective of a NATO player to navigate uh, submarines through designated area without being detected. The game is stand-based and involves strategic decisions about the movements and actions of units, uh, which require careful planning, of course. No jokes, it is a very serious game. Uh, there are various special abilities and tactics uh, that can be used uh, to gain an advantage, uh, for example, sonar sweeps and decoys. Uh, well, quite realistic game. But before we carry on with the next game, make sure you subscribe and hit notification bell to be always informed about new episodes. And let's carry on with the Gato Leader. It is a challenging solitary board game published by Dan Versen Games in 2016. The game is set during World War II and allows players to take on the role of US Navy submarine commander leading the missions against the Japanese shipping in the Pacific. The game is played over the series of campaigns, uh, with players selecting missions first and then choosing the equipment and uh, crew required uh, for those missions. Missions involve navigation through enemy waters, uh, evading detection and, of course, engaging enemy shipping. The game has a card-based system, various special abilities and upgrades uh, that can be and over the time, uh, such as uh, better torpedoes, uh, stronger hulls, and improved crew training. Uh, so all these features uh, gives the uh, game much more flexibility, engaging gameplay, and uh, high replayability. Very cool game. Silent War. Silent War is a flexible board game where players uh, simulate the US submarine war against uh, Japan in World War II by deploying submarines uh, to attack Japanese Navy from Pearl Harbor and Brisbane. The game features uh, various scenarios including the uh, entire campaign and uh, patrol mode, with a single submarine patrol taking uh, around 10 minutes to resolve, but campaigns uh, can take up to 10 or even more hours, so it can take a while to resolve a campaign match. Game is great, there are a lot of submarines and uh, enemy ships, uh, overall very realistic and a very cool game. Captain Sona. In this game, players work together as a team uh, to operate a high-tech submarine and uh, locate and destroy an enemy sub before they are destroyed themselves. The game assigns specific roles for each player, including captain, chief, mate, radio operator and engineer each with specific duties. For example, captain moves the submarine and uh, makes uh, very serious decisions, uh, the radio operator listens to opposing captain's orders and engineer prepares weapons and devices for combat, for example. Well, a really cool and uh, engaging game. Let's spend a little bit more time with the next game. In my opinion, it is a very cool app-driven cooperative tabletop game for 1-4 to four players uh, created by Iron Wolf Studio that uh, simulates real-time submarine warfare during World War II. I'm talking about U-Boot, the board game. Players can choose uh, to be a captain, first officer, navigator or chief engineer on the German U-Boat. The game board with the submarine model uh, in this game becomes the primary focus. It is center of this game, with the companion app providing an unprecedented level of realism with uh, instruments such as the Periscope, uh, Hydrophone, Enigma Code Machine, AI-generated responses to enemy forces and ambient sound effects uh, that provides an unprecedented level of realism and a challenging experience uh, with no equivalence among submarine warfare games. Uh, that is uh, an absolutely exclusive 
feature, this game is brilliant. Game requires a strong teamwork, uh, good communication, uh, efficient crew management and a quick situation awareness uh, on both strategic and tactical scales. In this game, combat tasks involve uh, patrol duties, uh, ambushing convoys and laying out mines. And yes, another great feature in this game is that the game app uh, generates uh, a detailed report uh, at the end of each session so you can monitor your progress uh, how you become better and better in this game it is cool although it is uh, possible to play this game solo which is uh, another great feature in my opinion to get most of this game and to get the uh, most of excitement of this game it is best to play it uh, with a full team of four players and by the way, there is a great news for those who love to play not only board games, but PC games as well, because soon we must have U-Boot, the board game, digital edition. That will be a PC game equivalent of this epic board game. Anyway, in my opinion, U-Boot is very cool board game, very unique, and I really, really love this game. By the way, which one of those games is your favorite? Uh, share your opinion in comments, uh, but we will carry on with uh, The Hunter's uh, German U-Boats at War 1939-43. It is a tactical board game for one or two players. It puts you in a charge of different types of uh, German U-Boats uh, that were used during World War II, with objective uh, to destroy as many Allied ships as possible while staying alive yourself, avoiding be destroyed. You also need to focus on improving uh, the quality of your crew and uh, increasing your rank uh, to earn special rewards. Game provides a quick and intense experience uh, that requires making many serious decisions. The game provides a, a comprehensive account of all major U-boat models that is great and it includes all armament, uh, crew composition, damage capabilities and more. Historically very accurate, very cool and very interesting game. Steel Wolves, uh, the German submarine campaign against uh, Allied shipping. Steel Wolves is a continuation of an uh, award-winning game, Silent War. It is a solitary game uh, that simulates the German submarine war in uh, 1939 to early months of 1943. It is a strategic game where you play as a supreme command of uh, Kriegsmarine with a mission to deploy your forces and destroy British and Allied shipping. The scenario in this game covers a wide range of actions, from single sub-patrols to short campaigns and a full comprehensive campaign. The game map is divided in historically accurate operation areas and the game reflect the historically accurate events as well as the correct uh, tactics and the strategies of the time. Great feature is that uh, you will have every single German sub deployed between uh, 1939 and 1943 at your disposal. Same as Silent War, it is very cool, very very realistic, historically accurate and uh, charming game. By Stealth and Sea by Stealth and Sea is a game designed for either single player or cooperative play, and it takes place during the Battle of the Mediterranean in World War II. You will be in charge of Italian elite commando frogman unit who will use manned torpedoes to attack the Royal Navy in the heavy guarded harbors of the Mediterranean Sea. Worth to mention that Decima Flotilla Massa, that is a full name of this legendary Italian unit, was the first such type of a unit in the world and achieved remarkable results for World War II era and served as a model for other naval special forces for years and years to come. Anyway, the game's campaign system includes all historic manned torpedo attacks uh, by the Italian 
Navy. Game mechanics allows you to advance your technologies and train your commandos during the campaign, while the Royal Navy will respond to successful attacks by improving their defenses. I like this feature very much because, in my opinion, it very strongly balances the game. Very cool game, best in its kind. I mean, underwater commando tactics. And it is a simple and quick enough that even young players can play it. The age requirements for this game is only 10 plus. Very cool game. And talking about the Mediterranean, we cannot skip such title as Beneath the Mad, Regina Marina at Sea, 1940-1943. Uh, which is a great game with the same vessel diversity, gameplay and other components as the Hunters, but this time it plays around Italian submarines during World War II. So let's carry on uh, with the next one uh, in the family, which is The Hunter, The Twilight of the U-Boats, 1943-45. The Hunted is a single-player tactical game that puts you in command of a German U-boat during World War II. It is a continuation of the Hunter's board game, same one that we have looked before. In this game, you are tasked with commanding a U-boat during a treacherous times from 1943 until the end of the war. Well, I guess all times were treacherous during World War II, but as Allied countermeasures became more and more sophisticated, especially during final stages of the war, U-boats became more and more vulnerable against attacks. And by the way, all that is included in this game, where you must destroy Allied shipping as always, but risks to be destroyed yourself increases as well. The game is historically very accurate and include details uh, such as uh, period of service, uh, armament, uh, crew makeup and uh, damage capabilities uh, and reflects uh, all stages of U-boat campaign and missions. Very very good game. By the way, there is another related episode on the channel about uh, naval board games uh, and you are very very welcome uh, to check it out uh, just watch this episode till the end and uh, follow the end screen and yes uh, most of these games uh, you can get on amazon if you like to check their price or purchase them go ahead and use affiliate links but we will carry on with the silent victory us submarines in pacific 1941 45 it is a not new game, but it has proven itself uh, through years as a very solid game, serious game and historically accurate and very interesting game. This game has uh, pretty much the same mechanics uh, and the game principles as the Hunters and the Hunted, but only about American submarines uh, during World War II in the Pacific. It is a solitary tactical level game where your mission is to destroy as much Japanese shipping, offering a lot of decision making. And again, all major boat types are accounted for. Only this time we're talking about the US fleet. And that's it for this episode. Write in the comments which games you liked most. If you found this episode useful, give it a like and do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and following, have a wonderful day, success in gaming and stay tuned for the next episode.